and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back finally to Balling Craig Estate here. What a hectic week. Um, so there's not been any videos for me, proper farm sim videos for me for about a week. I do apologise, I've been uploading all my FarmCon 18 stuff, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, what do I need to do first of all? We need to go up to here and get the Massey, I remember now. Because today we are doing something a little bit off the, the usual here on Balling Craig. We need to get rid of this crop. This crop has uh, been here for a while now, it's not going to be too long till it's withered so we're going to have to close this gate because we need our header trailer there's no way we can get the uh the header through there and if we can get it through the gate we can't get it through the actual yard because we've got the uh, the silo and stuff there so i've already prepared the massey ferguson over here let's go ahead and jump into this let's reset the head tracking uh, let's get all booted up and ready to go so how are you guys doing? Welcome back once again. So I do apologise once again that I've not done any videos. Of course you guys know I was at FarmCon, so I'll be doing the, the FarmCon stuff. Um, let's just jump out of here real quickly. Um, I've actually stood on the fence, which is interesting. We'll get this hutch up here. Still... Whoa! Okay then! That? Okay. So this is the first time we've moved this trailer, so that must have spawned in the ground a little bit. Um, because it's been this, this is where it spawns basically. So let's get back into the tractor. Let's close the door back up here. So I'm thinking the best thing to do right now is to pull it into this field here. Then we'll do a U turn. There's all the bales from the last video. Remember what we were doing now? We were stacking a loader, weren't we? So we've not actually been out of the, the yard on this series yet. So I've decided today we're going to go down to field number 11. Um. Let's just quickly open this again. So we're going to go to the field number 11. We're going to leave this one for now. We'll do this one off camera, probably. Um, so let's go ahead and jump back into the Massey. I'm going to do this in third person, because I am not in the mood during this recording to get stuck on uh, on the gate or the fence. So let's go ahead and see if we can get around here. First attempt. So we're going to have to come out pretty wide here. I'm going to come out diagonally. Okay, like that. So when I go ahead and go die, no, we're gonna hit the fence. Oh, this is impossible. How are we gonna do this? I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Right, there we go. So ironically, it's been pretty cool in the UK um, for the last few days, and today this is the first day I've recorded, and it's back up to 30 degrees. So, thank you, um, Mother Nature, for that. When you turn around again, so there's our harvester in there. We've not actually used it at all during this series. Um, don't worry, we're not just going to be harvesting during this video. We do have a couple of other little jobs to do just to see us off. Right, let's go ahead zoom the camera out a little bit here. Uh, we'll stop this about there, I reckon. And let's jump out of the tractor once again. So yeah, it's back up to 30 degrees, so I am really, really hot right now. Um, speaking of FarmCon, I can't actually get over that. Chump. I have to use the keyboard. There we go. And we're in it. So let's go ahead and get this uh, header lifted up here. Combine's not starting up. Gee, oh shit, there we go. She takes a while to start up this one. She is pretty old. She's still actually ticking over as we speak. There we go. And we're good to go. So thank you to Mark DuPont for sending me this uh, version of the Combine. Really appreciate it. It's a really, really little nice addition. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this down. That is not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this down here once again. Probably a little bit too much. There we go. We got it. This combine does not sound healthy. But this thing doesn't have IC, unfortunately. It is just the in-game one, but with different textures. Right, let's get it turned off for now. Save some diesel. This is going to be a challenge. This is a pretty long trailer. Let's see if we can actually get out the farm. Because I've not tried just yet. So once again, field number 11 is only around the corner, so we've got too far to go today. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the vlog, FarmCon vlog. Of course, you guys all know what I look like by now, which is a pretty surreal feeling for me. But we're not going to make that. Oh, hang on, we are going to make that. Just! Look at that! 
When he just made that. I don't think you can get away with a bigger header on this trailer, on this uh, map, sorry. This is pretty much as big as you can go. Um, let's get our beacon lights on. We probably could have used the Land Rover for this, to be fair, but we're not going to use the tractor. We're going to get it warmed up because we're going to be using it today. Alright, let's pull ourselves out here a bit wide. Oh, head tracking got caught on something then. Right. Um, we're driving on the left. So, we've been playing Oak, uh, Lone Oak Farm, so I'm nearly drove on the right then. But as I was saying, hope you enjoyed it. You guys all know what I look like, which is a pretty surreal feeling, because of course I did say I wasn't even going to consider it until at least... There's off Renault, but I haven't packed it away just yet. Until 100,000 subscribers. Turns out it was 61,000, which is uh, 40,000 off, but not to worry. Right, there's a gate is around here somewhere, I believe. Let's get our hazard lights on a minute. There we go. We actually have dashboard lights as well on this, which is pretty cool. Right. Let's get this gate open. This is going to be a pretty tight squeeze. Lucky the gate does open that way, so I'm thinking... What way is the header facing? The cars are waiting there nicely for us. It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. I think we may go turn around. Yeah, we're going to go turn around. Because we have to do like a 180 degree turn, which is not going to happen on this map. So let's go find somewhere to turn around, and then we'll drive into the field the other way. Right, let's try that again. So we're going from the opposite direction, let's indicate into the field. I forgot I turned that mod off, which uh, shows us what indicators are on. So I have to put the new version on, which is uh, shows us all of our lights. Right, let's back up here. Got stuck on the gate a little bit then. That truck put me off a little bit. Right, so that should do about there, I reckon. Right. Let's wait for the uh, the combine to come down and pick up the header. Right, so let's get it booted up once again, and I was talking last time, so what I'm going to do real quick is be quiet so you guys can actually hear the startup on this. It's really cool. There we go. She's still warming up, though, until the uh, icon on the side there changes. Still starting up. There we go. So we can now take her out. Let's get our beacon lights on. Before we forget, now this thing is hopefully going to be a little bit easier to manoeuvre than the trailer, at least. I'll tell you what's nice about this combine. The Brody knob is exactly where mine is in real life, and I didn't plan that. It's just the way it is. We're going to have to do a three-point turn here. Where's the mirrors that they are? Right, that should do. And we're free. Let's double-check to make sure we got our beacon lights on. Well, there we have. Okay. Where we go? I don't think the ladder moves on this one. Whoa, we've lost her a little bit. Gravity's taking the, uh, the full front of that. Okay, right. There's a car coming that way, but we've got a bit of time. There's nothing coming that way. Let's go. Right. Let's take this down to the header. Right, what we're going to do is put our hazard lights on real quick because we are going to be parking in the road very, very quickly. I think we're going to actually have to do a three-point turn here as well. Here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and position ourselves like this. Let's back up a little bit. We don't have too much uh, room to move back here. Right, let's pick up this header. We should be free of that. Before I do that, I want to double-check to make sure we're not going to hit the wheels. We seem to be fine. Okay, a horn. That guy in the car is beeping at us. He's gonna have to wait. Right, right. So I moved the the um, the tractor away. You can see it just in the distance there. But you won't be able to when YouTube compresses this video. But it, uh, we found a nice little gate, conveniently put. Um, right, let's get this combine unfolded. Not too much to unfold on this. Right, and we want to go ahead. Ideally, we want to be going left here, but we might not be able to. Right, straw swath is on, right. This is not something I usually do, but... Oh, sorry about that, I had to sort out my head tracking again! I cannot wait to move back to Plymouth, back into my old place. That was not an issue. Um, right, so yeah, this is not something I usually do, but we are going to be going... anti-clockwise for our headland. Just because it was more convenient for us at the time. This thing is bumpy. I don't know if it's the field, or whether the uh, suspension's knackered on this harvester, but... As you can see, it's pretty bumpy up here. Well, up in here. 
Uh, we're making progress here. So once again, by the time this goes out, I've uploaded a few videos from FarmCon, so I hope you guys enjoyed them. So we had the FS19 features one, which um, was actually today's video that I'm recording this. I'm recording this on Sunday, so um, that was today's video. The day after that, which is tomorrow for me, is the goodie bag video, which I completely forgot about until you guys asked for it. So a big thank you uh, to you guys for doing that. Right, let's, let's go through this tree. That is not something that happens in FS19 anymore, which is handy. Right. The steering, the uh, turning circle on this harvester is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, but yeah, and also, of course, the vlog, which I'm sure most of you guys active on the channel have seen by now, or saw by now. Oh, and the Lars interview, I forgot about that one. I still need to upload the Martin one, but um, I've not had a chance to just yet. Ah, oh, this is going to be a, a tough corner here. I think I might do a, a three point. Yeah, I'm going to. Let's get the header lifted up. Hear the RPMs get higher then. Predator into reverse. There we go. Drop that down. We've actually got some grass or something growing in the field. Might have to treat that. It might be weeds. Right, and we'll continue on with this. So we're at halfway there. Just gotta go back up to the starting point. We're probably gonna have to do two headlands on this, but what I am gonna do is see. Actually, I'll see what our percentage is in the tank. We might be able to get the full two uh, headlands into this without having uh, English without having to unfill or unload the combine, I should say, uh, which would be ideal. But if not, we'll probably get to the gate and then do a U-turn and start going uh, clockwise, which I like doing because the pipe then is always on the outside. Right, Kerry, so we have now come up towards our third headland. We decided to go with three headlands because it is quite a narrow um, header and we wanted a little bit more maneuverability when we're turning at the end of our passes. Right, there we go. Let's get that lift up. Now, as you can see, we are on 71%. So what we're going to do is get it turned off for a minute. Let's get the pipe out. We're going to unfill now just so I think we might better get this whole field into one trailer maybe we'll soon find out so what i'm gonna do is stop this here get it turned off uh right we'll ring the uh the yard and get um get the trailer bought down should we right, okay so we've got the uh well we're in the Renault first of all and we've just come back from the other yard or little storage yard with our little trailer which is big enough for this map the sun's come out a bit more which is interesting it was quite cloudy a minute ago but now the sun is out and shining which is not doing well in real life, because now my brain thinks it's actually scorching hot, which it is. It's 30 degrees currently, as you guys might be able to see on the wheel cam. Um, I just punched the microphone, so I do apologise. Right. Let's put that Bronco out of the way. So one thing I was a little bit gutted about, about um, Farm Sim 19, is... Wow, that's way too bright. I need to turn that down. Um, one thing I was disappointed about is the traffic. Is still concrete. Not sure why. Um, they just said it was getting misused in FS13, but I'm not sure why they've changed it. It's, it gets a little bit annoying sometimes. There's been many times where I've been wedged in between two cars and cannot get away and have to reset everything, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, so we're just unloading now. It's on 40% currently. I don't think this trailer is actually going to be big enough. Like I said earlier, I think we're going to try and get it into one trailer, but I didn't realise this was actually the trailer we had, so... Um, not looking likely. Let's go ahead and roll forward a little bit here. Start filling the back end up. And there we go. So what's that on now? It's on about 53%. So we're not going to get a full load into in a second, considering that was only like 75% full originally. But let's go ahead and park this here. Like so. Get her turned off. I didn't think it was working then. Right, let's jump back into the combine. We'll get the pipe in. There we go. And she eventually comes to life. Alright, there we go. It takes a while to start up this combine. Maybe I should have just left her up and running. Right. Let's reverse back here. We're going to make a start on our first pass. Obviously, this thing does not have GPS. This is so loud, this harvester. But, of course, 
They know that. That's why we have our safety headphones here. Poor Matter Gearbox seems to be uh, playing a little bit as well. I think it just jumped forward a little bit. Right, make sure the swath's still on, which it is. So, um, the only reason we're doing this is basically for the straw. We don't really give a damn about the barley. Uh, we literally just want the straw so we can feed the uh, the cows it and start getting some manure, put it down on the grass, etc. It's one big cycle, basically. Basically, we need some manure for the grass silage, and this is, of course, a dairy farm, which ultimately, we want to see how much milk we can end up with. That's another thing we didn't really know about in FS19, is the way milk works. There's no been, no, uh, there's been no sound it just yet. Right, there we go, it's our first one done. And what we're going to, actually this field's not really big enough to go down the middle, but I think we will anyway. I haven't done this technique for a while, so why not? There's a dirt road there that goes to this field. Didn't even realise. Yeah, we'll go down the middle, why not? Just so then the pipe is never in the crop. Although I don't actually know, we haven't got a compass or a GPS or anything, so I don't exactly know if we're going in a straight line, but there's only one way to find out. Right, so what I'm going to do right now is crack on a little bit with this, and um, that is not a straight line. I'll crack on a little bit with this, and I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, what well, time lapse this? Okay, so we have now pretty much finished this field. I'm just hoping we can get the rest of this with one pass. Go on. There's going to be a little bit left. Then one was reverse to get that. Um, so we're going to be doing the rest of this video, unfortunately, in third person. Because if I go into the cab, I'll show you what the head tracking is currently doing. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. We'll ignore that. So we're going to keep doing this in third person. But we've got much long, uh, that much longer left of the video anyway. Right, let's go ahead and pick this little bit up here. There we go. I forgot we had shop straw turned on. Worried we done for a second. Um, right. It's a little bit down here that we missed. Just we'll get it as soon as we're passing anyway. Right, there we go. I have to record more videos after this one, so hopefully I can get the head tracking sorted for that. Right, let's go ahead and get it turned off now. Uh, the pipe will get turned, uh, put out, sorry. So we are not going to be able to get all of this into the trailer, obviously, because it's already 50% full, over 50% full. And uh, we have more in here now than we had originally anyway, so we'll get in as much as we can. We'll take it and we'll unload it. I don't believe there's any silos on this map, so we have to find something else to do with that. Right, let's get that turned off. I have now, I think, fixed the head tracking. I've had to uh, get my girlfriend's um, clothes rail and put it in front of the window. So hopefully this now works. Let's go ahead and reset the head tracking and find out. It seems to be working so far, though we are sat pretty far away from the steering wheel. Let's scooch it a little bit. Right. So we're not going to bother putting this in storage. I was thinking then, a second ago, whether we need silos or anything. Like I said a second ago, I'm not that bothered. Does this even have beacon lights? No, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll have to just be a little bit careful. We don't even have a uh, a cover for the trailer, so we're probably going to lose some of our grain. There's a car coming to see it through the hedge there. Can't see that way, which means it's going to be a pretty dangerous manoeuvre. But out we go. We'll avoid that. Yes, we did. Cool. So yeah, as I was saying, there's no point in us saving the grain. We're not doing um, cereal on this map. Oh, sorry. We're just using that for the straw, basically. So we're just going to set it straight away. And right here is where the mass is, just through that gate there. So I must remember that in a second. Come on. I saw a video on YouTube the other day of... Um, actually, it might have been Facebook. 
of uh, how cars stupidly pass tractors in real life. In Farm Sim, it's the opposite. Tractors have to pass cars. Well, I'm not going to bother overtaking here because we're on a blind corner. Going back to what I said earlier, don't want to be wedged in between two cars. So for those of you who don't know why I keep talking about the cars, in FS13, I know most of you guys are probably too young to remember that, um, you could pick the cars up and move the traffic. You could pick them up and move them around. Um, but that's not what I used to do. I used to... Um, wait, we went up? I think it's further up. I think it's the next turning, because that's our uh, storage yard there. There's the rest of our like ground stuff there, which we rarely use in this map. Um, but yeah, so say a car got in the way, all you have to do is go get out of my way and ram them. So you don't get stuck, as per se. Um, there's one thing I do wish came in, but they also explain why it's not, and I completely get it. Is this it? Yeah, it is. I can see it. Let's indicate into here. In fact, we need our hazard lights, first of all. Um, this doesn't have IC, unfortunately. Let's get that gate open. Wait for these cars to pass. Come on. Your cars are coming. There we go. Realism. Let's jump back into the tractor. We'll get our hazard lights off now. We turn into here. What? I don't know what's actually turned on. Hazard lights. Okay, there we go. I need that uh, HUD thing back. It makes it so much easier. Right, let's go ahead and unload this. I'm not sure how much we'll get for this. It's a pretty small trailer. We do have another load to do in a second. Right, there we go. We're in the trigger. Let's get that unloaded. And our money is going up. Right, so only 8,776. It's still in dollars, unfortunately. Um, it's meant to be euros on this map. Um, I should know this is Northern Ireland, so it is meant to be pounds. Right, let's go ahead and turn like that. It's the first time I've had to do a three-point turn while I'm loading grain. But there we go, 8,776 pounds in the first load there. I'm going to go ahead and get the second load, and uh, we'll see how much we get for that. Okay, so we're about to unload the second load now, which, as you can see down in the HUD, is hardly anything. What's that say? 16%? I really need to change the colour of that. I'm going to look in the uh, XMLs or something to do that. But there we go. We're not going to get much for this. It was only 8,000 for the last one, so I'm expecting about 1,700 for this, maybe. 1,400. Not even as much as I thought. Right, there we go. So that's that done. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and take this back to the yard because I'm going to use this Renault for something else real quick. Seems it's up and running. Makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pack up off camera, I think, the combine, because you guys don't want to see that. It's not very uh, interesting. Right. So what do I need? I need the... Oh, I know what I need. I know what I need. Right, okay, so we're back at the yard. This is the final thing we have to do today. Let's go ahead and open this shit. Oh, you have to hold it. So open this uh, gate here. Boom. There's all our sh uh, hay bales in there. Right, let's jump back into the Renault real quick. So it'll be quite interesting little setup. This Renault, and if someone was to reskin this to a class, because for those of you who don't know, class also released this tractor as a class. They look exactly the same, but one's white, green, and uh, red. Okay, class colours. Right, that's a little bit closer. I don't want to go ahead and do that, because we might not be able to get out again after. Right, let's try that. This is looking much better. So in case you haven't guessed, we're picking up the baler, um, so we can start baling that straw down there, but don't worry, I'm not going to do it on camera. Okay, so let's head back to the field right now. Now, there is a little... Oh, there is a road here. I didn't even see this. We could have been saving time this whole time. Nice little uh, dirt road going down here, and end with, where if I can find it, a gate. There we go, let's get this open. This should be a lot quicker. Especially when we're at... Uh, Carting the bales and stuff. Let's turn into here. Right now, finally, let's get the baler unfolded, and we're gonna turn it on. So, oh, well, it's straw. Yeah, it's straw. That's magically changed. It said, "Hey, a second ago." Um. So yeah, thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. A bit of a boring one, but it's just something we have to get out of the way. So these will now be used. These straw bales will now be used with our cows, obviously. Right, let's get that lifted up, get it unloaded. 
Like, so lucky this field is pretty flat, so we ain't got to worry about them rolling down the hill, which is always a nice addition to this map. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for joining me. It was a little bit boring, but we just had to harvest. Um, now I'm going to do a few of these bells, so thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy it, please tap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.